Okay, it's that time of the year again. And since we have a lot of time on our hands, plus Joy is also released, so why not talk about assistants? Yes, I know you all want to impress your online waifus and make your mom proud. But the only issue we have on our hands is that you can't play assistants. Wait, don't close the video yet. I know you all might be one of the best players in your roles, but as the saying goes, only a chef can cook his best dish. I'm not saying that you cannot play the assistant's role. It is just that you need to know more about it before you can play it as well as the best to carry your team. Hi guys, Kazuki here and this video will be specially about why you should get assistant and how you will be able to improve it easily. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com. As usual, the diamonds will be delivered within an hour. Now let me get this straight. First, we will talk about the jungling assassins. You are either a very old player that didn't try the assassin role because you couldn't perform earlier. Or you are someone who is new to the game and are confused about how to play this particular role. So as an assassin player myself, I have been playing assassin for almost as long as I have been playing the game. And that is why I think I will be able to guide you regarding this specific role properly. One mistake that many does is, they choose the assassin with the most damaging abilities without even thinking if they are fit for the role or not. Let me explain with an example. Saber for example is one of the easiest assassins and many of you guys will be able to play him very easily. But what many don't know is how to escape after getting the kills because mostly it's about the compatibility of the assassin. I know it's getting complicated so let me explain it properly. See, you might be already good at being a fighter player, tank player, support player, mage or even an MM player. Now when you switch to assassin, some instincts of the tank, fighter, mage, MM or support still stays with you. So this might be unnecessary talk to you but you will have to refresh your minds from those roles. And to do that you have to either choose your assassin that matches to your earlier role. For example, if you used fighters earlier, you would be very compatible with the assassin role as every fighter needs to move close to the target similar to the assassins. But remember that assassins are far squishy and every one of the assassins is unique in their own role. Now let me come to the mentality. When we play tanks, our main objective is to remain with our mages, roam when needed or mainly focused on tanking or supporting our teammates. But when you switch to assassins, the roles are completely different. You cannot be always on the gank. As an assassin, you will have to clear the creeps to keep your farm high. That way, the rotation also becomes tough and you have to decide which hero to mark after arriving at the game. As an assassin, I would suggest you to learn the jungle timing and last hitting the turtle and lords. Even though it's easier now because you can easily see the red tree damage indicator. You will still have to adjust between hitting the red tree at the right time. Many of these players look at assassin as heroes that get kills just because the role is OP. And that is very wrong. There is hard work being put into the roles too. You will have to learn the heroes for days to master it. 
So yeah, it is kinda hard to be an assassin player. Before ending this video, I want to talk about a small case relating to the assassins. If you are starting to play and if you are trying to get started playing the assassins, I have a small tip for you. Start with playing heroes like Harley and Hanzo to get the hang of the roles and try taking the benefit of the range advantage. Heroes like Lancelot, Ling, Hayabusa and Fanny will be tough. But before starting to practice them, make sure you understand the assassin role very well because you will have to grind to master these heroes and three of them are highly buff dependent. Instead of being on every ganks, try to learn how to be patient and get the core enemy players. There are counters to these heroes too. Learn to re-counter using the items and other builds. You can also go advanced by countering them using tactics and tricks. Try getting the highest farms and hunt their wandering MM and mages. Getting the enemy buff when you can give you an extra advantage. If you feel like watching how I play Assassin Heroes, you can visit my channel Kazuki Official Gaming for fun and detailed gameplay. I will take a link in the top right corner. And that will be all for this video. Do comment down if you have suggestions regarding the role. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.